Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to Barbecue It. I'm your host Craig Kimberly and today is a chicken challenge. We're gonna put the pit barrel cooker against the Weber 26. We're gonna hang a chicken and then we're gonna do a beer can chicken. So a little bit of everything, two beautiful organic chickens and today it's all B&B products. Now they got a few here. They got the, the chicken scratch and the Trinity, the Holy Trinity there, the salt and pepper garlic jam. We're gonna use those, not the cattle call one. I just put that up there because it looks cool. <laughs> And of course, B&B's new Texas Classic, or at least it's new to me because I've never tried it, so I'm pretty excited. So let's get our fire pit lit. So yes, we're using B&B today. We're gonna use some lump hickory along with the competition char logs and do a little bit of a combination for fun, see how it goes. This is the pit barrel cooker. This is their 18 inch. I don't know if you've ever seen it. I'll do a video completely on this coming up, but this is really cool. It's a re really unique cooker. Let me get these rods out. These are part of the air control system. And inside, of course, is an 18 inch basket. And it does have a trap if you need to get to your coals and whatnot. And what your coals sit in is this basket right here. All right, so what we're gonna do is gonna load up this basket and then I'm gonna start a chimney about a third of the way. Then I dump that onto this, leave a little space for it, and I drop that in there. That kick starts this pit barrel. Instead of, say, taking a wax paraffin and just placing it on the coals, you know, that takes a little bit longer. We're gonna jump start both of these cookers, but let's get some coals on this bad boy. Now, <laughs> looks strange, don't it? So, you've never seen these before, probably. And these are B&B's competition logs. They're super dense, that bag is really heavy. And yes, if you've ever had street food anywhere in Southeast Asia, this might remind you of some of the stuff they cook with, say in the yakitori's or something like that. These suckers burn really hot and last really long. So I want to experiment with them today in the pit barrel. I haven't used them in there yet. But we're going to put the lump on here to get it started, and that'll get the party going. And we'll just leave a little space right here for that lump, and we'll be good to go. So let's get our chimney. Get some lump action. That's probably enough. That's not even half a chimney. If you look in there, JJ. So yeah, that's about, meh. That's about maybe half. Let me get that lit and then we'll get the 26er going. All right, so I got my chimney full of the lump here. I've got my competition logs laid in here. We're gonna kind of offset, in a sense, this uh, beer can chicken. We'll be on one side, heat on the other, and I'll rotate the chicken like every 20 minutes. So let's get this puppy lit. All right, let's get our pits up to temp. Meanwhile, let's work on these birds. All right, so what I have here is a little sriracha as my binder, just to give the rub a little something to stick to. And uh, if you've seen some of my other videos, I do use sriracha instead of mustard on stuff. And it's just a great little binder. It adds a little bit of zing, not a big deal, just a tiny little bit, not much. But this, this just gives that rub a home. First up, the Trinity, B&B's Trinity, which is, you know, salt, pepper, garlic kind of mixture. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of that. Smell that garlic. All right. Coming back with, this is the first time I've used this, I'm pretty excited, B&B's award-winning Texas Chicken Scratch. And that should have some beautiful color, look at that. I cannot wait to see how the pit barrel does against beer can chicken. My homie JJ's here filming this week from LA, so he's gonna taste test too. You like chicken, JJ? I love some chicken. You know you love chicken. You know you love a little smoky yard bird. All right, so that's it. We didn't brine this, we didn't dry brine it. This is straight up organic chicken with our two rubs. Now, we're gonna hang this puppy just like that. And that is it. All right, so chicken number one, done. Ready to hang. Chicken number two, get away bees. Let's get our chitlins out of there. These bees are like, they're all over the damn place. Same thing, little sriracha. All 
Now, if you don't like this flavor, or if you don't want to use sriracha, you can you can spray with a little bit of oil. Smoke has trouble penetrating oil, actually, so that's why I don't use olive oil or, or spray before I smoke, because it's hard to get smoke to penetrate it. All right, that looks good. A little trinity, a little salt and pepper. This is gonna help just form great crust, too. Now, in our beer can chicken, of course, there's gonna be some beer. <laughs> And then I'll throw a little bit of thyme in there as well. And just a little bit of aromatics, you know, going into the bird. Just for fun, see how it, you know, see how it does. Now, our beer can scenario is gonna be this. So in this little cup goes our beer. A little overflow, it's all good. Throw up a bunch of this thyme, crumple that. Throw that in there, and this dog's ready to hunt. Just plop him right on top. Tuck them little wings in back there, and there you have it. Looking good, huh? All right, so these birds are on. Let's uh, let's set them up and get them hung. All right, you can see in there. Jay, get, JJ, get a look in there. So the coals are really hot, ready to rock. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer this up there, dump these coals in here, and drop it inside the cooker. Okay, so for flavor today, it's pecan for the big chunks and a little bit of cherry chips just to add accent in case the smoke starts to drop. And I don't wanna add a whole chunk in there. These are great for it. Two good flavors. So first we're gonna drop in a couple good chunks of this good sized chunk of ch uh, pecan. That's gonna start smoking right away. Let me get, let me get a second one going right there. And a little bit of accent cherry. And this'll, these will start out quick. And that should give us really good smoke. And the same thing over here on our 26 Weber, same action we're gonna do. We're gonna slap in a nice chunk of that cherry, I mean of that pecan. Let's accent it with some little bit of cherry. I'm gonna put a second chunk of that pecan down here. And that should be enough smoke for us. All right, so both of our cookers are smoking. Our time temperature and technique is gonna be this. Time is probably approximately an hour and a half of cooking. Temp, we're trying to be around 325. Technique, obviously, we're hanging a chicken directly over the coals on the PBC, and we're offset beer can chicken on the Weber 26. All right, everything's up to temp and ready to rock. And there's our bird. So I've got a little pan in here just offset to uh, catch some of the juices. Just gonna let it rock. Onto the PBC. All right, and time to hang the PBC, the chicken. We're gonna drop it in there and just hang it on the hooks. Let her smoke away. Here you go. We'll see you in an hour and a half. Besides a couple of cold ones, what are you gonna do with all that time on your hands? You are going to spritz. Spritz these birds about every 10 to 15 minutes. Apple cider, apple cider vinegar, apple juice, whatever you got. Now these birds went on at the same time. Pit control, pit barrels on the left, Weber's on the right. 45 degree difference in the cookers, but the birds are dead on. We're shooting for 160 to 165. And of course, throw some more of those apple wood chips in there in case the smoke gets low. And before you know it, you'll be pulling out a perfect set of smoked birds. Yeah, well, she's got some beautiful char on her. Look at that in the sunlight. Pretty bird on this side. Let's go see how the Weber one looks. Oh, and there she is. Now, she's reading 160, but I'm going with my gut on this one. That it's. Let me get this other glove that, that she's ready. Actually, I'm just going to pull her off of there. This would be the easiest thing for me to do. There we go. Oh, 
Oh man, that smells outstanding. Okay, so I'm gonna let these rest about 20, 25 minutes. So let them calm down, continue cooking to 175, and then we'll slice. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes and they have rested. So now, the tail of the tape. Here we go, oh, looking beautiful. All right, so there you have it. There's the pit barrel and there's the Weber with the beer can chicken. You got some beautiful juice over here, by the way. I will not, will not be wasting that. All right, so let's, <laughs> look at, that is beautiful. We'll cut some leg off and then uh, get a little bit of dark meat, a little bit of light meat to each. I'll do a taste test and then JJ could come in here and that skin is gorgeous. Man, she is juicy. Rest in 25 minutes and look at that juice. Wow. That is unbelievable. And there goes our breast. Oops. All right, and let's get some of this. Wow. They both have an amazing aroma. <laughs> they smell fantastic. Oh, and there is that breast. All right. As you can see, they both have beautiful skin. Definitely crispy skin. Gorgeous. All oh, sitting in their own juices. All right, let me slice some of this. Oops. Slice some of this. Gosh. You know, people that love skin, this is a skin lover's paradise for flavor, I'm gonna tell you. All right, so let me get in here. Got it broken down a bit. Got everything singled out. Got a little bit of dark meat, a little bit of, little bit of light meat. So I'm gonna go right in the middle and try the breast. <laughs> so there's the breast of the pit barrel chicken, the pit barrel cooker. And I just could not be more juicy. Look at that. All right, here we go. Wow. Wow, the, the rub on that skin. Oh my God. I'm sorry. I'm gonna eat this whole piece. That is outstanding. That was off the pit barrel cooker. All right, let's go in here. <laughs> and here we are. Look at the juice on that. It's just absolutely beer can chicken. Tender and beautiful. Wow, nothing could be more tender. Nothing could be more tender. That's really good. But right away, the flavor on that pit barrel cooker, before tasting anything else is, it's a step above. All right, I'm gonna go for the dark meat. Mmm, wonderful. Mmm, so juicy, God. Okay. All right, I kind of have my winner. JJ, let's swap places and you come in here. All right, bro, you tell me. All right, what's what now? All right, so the one on your left, that is the beer can chicken okay. right there. Beer yeah. can chicken. Mm. Uh-oh. Oops, sorry, I can't focus because he's closed. You can't focus without camera, period. <laughs> <laughs> so much hate. All right. That is was that from the breast? Did you take some of the breast? Whatever was here. Okay, try, try it. Just grab, grab some of that. Hmm. Oh, juice. And then go for this, for the breast meat there. Because the breast meat is obviously the hardest to, to get tender. But look at that crunch on that. That skin. Skin. That's the best part for me. Hmm. <laughs> Talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> just enough smoke. It's really just enough smoke. It's not overpowering. I don't like a lot of smoky, smoky chicken. Are you surprised because you've never seen a pit barrel go down? No, 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 no. First time, first time. And uh, man, Craig, you killed it for sure. Um, oh, thanks, brother. But you... if I had to choose, I'm going right hand side. You're pretty kind for a volunteer today. Right hand side. So you're going for the pit barrel. Pit barrel's away. Pit barrel over the beer can chicken. Mm -hmm. Pit barrel one, folks. Pit barrel.
Give me that camera. That's what's up. There's paper towel over here. Towel. Damn, dude, that shit is good. I gotta take one more bite of that. <laughs> it's still That's rolling. It. Still rolling. I guess I have to eat another piece, JJ. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Take 11 <laughs> mm. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just so that is just so damn good. It's ridiculous. My goodness, go get yourself a pit barrel. Two to nothing. Now I love beer can chickens and I love my Weber 26. But that damn chicken coming off that pit barrel, that is undeniable. So there you have it. This button right up here in the video, click that. That's something I want you to see. And this button over here lets you subscribe. Thanks for watching.